Welcome everybody. I'm Bruce the Gig Farmer coming to you from Bandwagon Music Studio. Today, lesson three on the banjo. We're going to feature the box roll, thumb, index, thumb, middle. It's one of the strongest rolls out there and it's a great roll to learn early on because you will use it in a lot of different ways when you're playing music. Remember, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, add a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. So, grab your instrument and jump on the bandwagon. Yeah! I'm going to move in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to start with my thumb on the third string, followed by the index finger or pointer on the second string followed by the thumb on the fifth string, followed by the middle finger on the first string. Again, third, second, fifth, first. That's the order of strings. Often we just say three, two, five, one. And as you practice this, you'll get to know it. And it'll be like second nature for you. Three, two, five, one. Remember that the strings are tuned from the bottom up. First string is down here, second, third, fourth, fifth. If you're looking at a chord diagram, it's going to be like this. Your fretboard's going to be up and down. So in that case, the first string is over here, second, third, fourth. Here we go with our roll. Three, two, five, Play along with me. I'll give us a little count here in a moment. I'll get the metronome out. And we'll talk about that. But for right now, there's your metronome. I'm not using my left hand, my fretting hand. I'm just using my right hand because we want to focus on getting this roll as strong as we can before we worry about adding chords with the left hand. Let's get the metronome out now and try it because I want to talk a little bit about pulse. What is pulse? A pulse is just a steady beat at regular intervals. And that's what a metronome gives us. It gives us a steady pulse. As we learn to play with that steady pulse, we become a stronger musician because we're not varying the tempo. Tempo is not pulse. Tempo is when you assign a note value to that pulse. Then you have a tempo. We'll talk about that in a later video. Okay, I have my handy dandy metronome with me. It's on my phone. You can get one too. Some of them are free and they work very well. I'm going to set this for 60 beats per minute, otherwise known as BPMs. It's going to sound like this. I'll turn up the volume a little bit. Hopefully you can hear that. We're going to play this roll with the metronome. Here we go. One, two, three, four. If you're struggling with that, don't worry. Turn off the video, get your metronome out, and play with it for a few minutes. Yeah. Let's try it a little bit faster. So now I'm on 80 BPMs. One, two, three, four. There's a variation that we can use to make this square roll, alternating thumb roll, even more effective and interesting musically. We're going to do it like this. We've been playing three, two, five, one. Now we're going to play three, two, five, one for the first group of four, and four, two, five, one for the second group. 
Now, let me play 4, 2, 5, 1 for you. The fourth string, it's the lowest string tonally that you have on the banjo. It's a D. You may want to practice that just a little bit. Go 4, 2, 5, 1, 4, 2, 5, 1, 4, 2, 5, 1. And then once you're comfortable with that, go ahead and try them together. Here we go with 3, 2, 5, 1, 4, 2, 5, 1. We'll pick it up at 80 beats where we left off. If that's too fast, turn off the video or put it on pause and drop your metronome a little bit to maybe 60 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good job, I think. Let's go up to 100 beats per minute now. Remember, you can take this at your own pace. You might not want to go from 80 to 100 beats per minute. You might want to go 80, 85, 90. When you get to your limit, then you just want to jump up in maybe two or three beats per minute increments because it's very difficult to keep going in units of 10 or 20. But I want you to hear what this sounds like as you get faster because then you'll understand why this is such a powerful role rhythmically. Here we go at 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. and so on and so forth, 120, 130, 140. Day after day, week after week, you will find your speed improving. That's not the first thing to try to achieve, is speed, even though you hear the records and they're doing crazy stuff like that. You'll get there eventually. You have to get these down at a slow tempo in order to play them at a fast tempo. Nobody runs before they crawl or walk, right? Ooh. When I'm singing, I love to play that role because it, it fits with the music. It gives me a bass. Boom, boom, boom. So even when I'm playing by myself, it provides a very strong rhythmic bass. You may have noticed there, I threw a couple of pinches in. Let's talk about that next lesson. This is Bruce, the Gig Farmer, signing off for now. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Would love to hear from you. Until next time, be safe, be well.